Hey y'all, happy Friday. Happy preparation for your Sabbath. It's the weekend, baby. Anyway, you guys know on Fridays, right? I like to give you guys something to do to benefit you for your future, right? Walking down certain path that will cause you to prosper at the end result, right? If you follow the instructions per the Father, right? In the Bible, biblical instructions before leaving earth or basic instructions before leaving earth, okay? Um, everything in this is instructions, right? It's for the benefit of our learning to overcome all the battles of the earth. Because trust and believe me, once you get familiar with the Bible and learn and follow the instructions of the Bible, you can overcome anything and you will gain supernatural power and people would know it, right? And they will respect you because they will respect your words that know it's coming from the Father. Well, okay, you guys. So earlier, you know, I... Talked about my short, and my short was basically men being the head of the household, you know, taking rulership, you know, as kings and everything, right? You know, so I know that we have so many women who are the head of the household, right? But that really not supposed to be the case, right? The man is supposed to be the head of the household, right? And we are supposed to be the help me to the man. We're supposed to be the takers of the house, you know, take the, like the take carers of the house as the woman, you know, the cooking. The cleaning and everything, making sure it has some type of love throughout the house, you know, a great spirit, the nurturing spirit of a woman. That is our job, um, you know, to do things around the house, to keep to upkeep the house, right? To be the support for the man so he can go out there, continue to make money so he can take care of the house as the head of the household and he can lead us, right? Um, so we follow that lead. And now again, I know that there are so many of us as the head of the household, but it's not the correct order. It's completely out of order. And that's why we experience so many things, right? As women, we want to be the head of the household, right? And being the head of the household entail being the head of everything of your life because you ain't got no man to be the head and to go through things for you, right? Like prime example, right? Being the head of the household caused women so many problems. You know, uh, indirectly, we might not even, even think about this, right? But indirectly, you know, it matters, right? Because... You know, you get a certain age, you know, when you're young, you have all that energy, right? But you get a certain age, you know, you get tired, your energy start getting lower, right? everything about you start depreciating and everything, right? Now, if you're taking care of yourself, you, you can maintain that, that energy, you know, but shoot, 9 out of 10 is probably only one person that's going to take care of themselves where they can, remain, they can maintain that energy when they get a certain age, right? Now, being that the woman is the head of the household, that makes her got to be the head of everything. That makes her got to do everything, right? I mean, even to the point when it's time to get her car done, she got to go try to get the oil changed, get the brakes done, everything. And what happens? The men just do everything, right? Do do everything to make her come back, to keep getting that car fixed over. Because as a woman, we don't know nothing really about cars, you understand? We know we need this car fixed. We take me to get fixed, but we take it to these men as a woman. So these men already looking like, oh, she ain't got no man. I can just do what I want to do, right? Mess her car, make her come back because we... Don't be not men, you know, and that should be the man job, right? You know, going to take the car to get service and get oil changed. That's not our job. That's why we always have a problem. We take them to get our car fixed. We go take our car to get fixed. We, we, go, we go with one problem, come up with another, right? Because we know we the woman and the man know we the woman. He know we ain't got no head over us so he can treat us how he wants to and take our money. That's because us being a woman at the head of the household, which is out of order, right? Now, let's talk about just carrying water up. <laughs> Daddy messed up the water. We can't even drink the water out the faucets no more. I used to love water in the faucets back in Chicago. I love water. That's my best liquid, right? Water over everything. I love water because our body is made of 70% uh, of it. I love water, right? And I, man, when I was younger, I remember I used to drink out the faucet all the time in Chicago, okay? The water was so good. It was so clean, right? Now, the water's messed up. So what we got to do now? We got to go buy cases and jugs. Now, who got to carry all that stuff up? You see? So if you ain't got no man who the head of the household, then you got to glug all this water and all these grossy tired. Oh, 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 getting tired because you're getting older. And because you thought you could do it on your own, you didn't need no man. Now you tired as hell trying to carry all these bags. It's come to the point now, you can't even carry everything no more. So now you, you shopping less. Knowing you need more, but because you got the energy and the strength 
Because you're not the man, which the man should be the house of the hub, head of the household. Because you made yourself the head of the household as a woman. You're struggling even to carry water and take groceries. Because it's not your job. It's for the man, right? That's the man job to lead as a household to carry our bags and carry our water. To service our cars. We can't do that. Because every time we go do it, we go look. It always causes a problem, right? We, we, we try to solve one problem, but it leads to other problems because... As a woman, that's not our job. It's out of order, okay? It's out of place. We have to allow the men to take control and to be a lead. Now, men, I'm just not throwing this in your ball to put you on a high pedestal, right? But you got to prepare yourself. You got to get yourself together. You know, you already know what's going on. We're in restoration right now. So it's time for you to step up, take your place. Bring that masculinity on because you know we need it. You know, without that masculinity, the nation falls. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, so we still need that masculinity. We, we, you know, because Judah, you know, Judah people was always known to be strong, right? Judah people was always known to be in the father. That's why you have so many people say, oh, them black people, they always pray and pray for this and pray for that because it's in our bloodline. We are the church. We are Israel. We are the people, right? So our whole way of life. It's the laws and commandments, even if we don't know it. So that's why it's instilled in us. That's why we always going to pray and go to God and all say God's glory and let all the Gentile nations say, all them black people, all them Jewish people, always talking about God, always talking about God. Yes, because it's written out hard. Okay? Also, look, you hear me in. There is, whoo, okay. Okay. I'm about to, um, well, the father's about to give you guys some instructions to the men, okay? And um, these instructions is to lead you to start being the heads of everything, of everything, okay? Um, these instructions are going to lead you to prepare yourself, prepare the people and everything to get yourself together, to go cry out to the father, to rebuild the land, okay? So... Men, right now, you guys see we're in time of restoration. Judah and Israel should be gathered as one, okay? All the other Gentiles in the nations will follow our lead as we get word from the Most High as a Messianic nation, okay? Now, the Father wants you guys to gather yourself and let me and cry to him so he can stop preparing you guys, okay? Because we're already in restoration, okay? Um, but it's another step it's time for you guys to take now. Okay, so the father said, Gird yourselves and lament ye priests. We're talking about the priests, it's the real servant. Because for the most part, remember, all the priests, everything is gone, but we still got a few servants, you know, that's real to the father and true to the father. He know those, right? He know those hearts. So these are people I'm talking to. I'm not talking to all the false prophets and all the sheep and wolves clothing because we got a many of these, but you know who I'm talking to. The people who are the elect, who are the Judaizers elect, who already know what's going to go on. You know how the Father is leading you. You know what direction he's taking you, okay? So this is who I'm talking to, okay? The Father said, Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests. Howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come, lie all night in sackcloth. Ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholding from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry out unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. I just gave y'all the instructions. Okay, I need you guys to take heed this and follow these instructions. And these instructions is in Joel 1, chapter 1, verses 13 through 15, KJV version. These are the instructions. I'm talking to the real, the, the real elders, the priests, the people who are the real servants, not the false prophets and no sheep and wolf clothing. We're not talking about you because you won't understand anyway, but these people know who I'm talking to. Okay, follow these instructions. Okay, because we are at a time of restoration where Israel and Judah is being carried as one. Okay, again, this is in Joel chapter 1, verse 13 to 15, KJV version. I just gave you guys some instructions. Follow those instructions, okay? And men, 
Go ahead. Maintain that masculinity, okay? I know for the most part, most of the men are being made to be effeminate. You know, I made to become like females, okay? So now out of 10 men, it's probably seven of them are females now. So that means that's 30%. Wait, wait a minute. Now, even if I do the remnant of the father going to say left, because he says it's going to be one third and two thirds going to be completely destroyed and perish, right? So now, so instead of saying eight out of 10, let's say, oh my goodness, men, that's one out of three, 33%. So now I'm going to change those figures. Out of every three men, only one is a true servant of the Father. You see? See how those numbers crushed? Because for more than half in the world going to perish. So more than half of the world going to perish, only very few going to be left. Many are called, but few are chosen. Only a few, right? And those few know who I'm talking to. I just gave y'all some instructions. We're talking about the true service of the Lord. I gave you guys some instructions. Go ahead and follow them. Right? These same instructions again is in Joel chapter 1, verses 13 through 15, KJV version. Okay? Men, you go ahead and be the head of your household because us women, we can't do all this on our own. We can't be trying to get our cars fixed and, you know, carrying water up the stairs. But us women, we got to change that attitude and be willing to unlearn all these worldly things that's keeping us down and keeping our nation down. Okay? Women. We leave the Jazzy Bell spirit. Let it go. Let it go. It is not your job. You are out of order and you should see from the results. Most of y'all are messed up. Period. Mentally, physically, everything because you're out here think you don't need a man. Think you can make all the right decisions by yourself. Not putting God first and you're falling. And it shows. And a lot of them just don't even know how to take care of all this kind of stuff, baby. Not even cleaning right, not even, just just crazy stuff, okay? Because you want to try to lean to your own understanding. It is out of order, okay? Lose the Jesse Bell spirit, my women. Try to reach out to your men more, embrace them, and put them on the pedestal. Make them kings. Treat them like kings. Go cater to them, okay? Once you cater to them, trust and believe me, they love you. You just got to let that mentality go that you, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, but now you can't even get your car fixed. Okay, because it's not your job. You can't carry water because it's not your job. You sitting up here looking stupid, energy, laying there, can't move around the bed, can't do nothing, need help, but you to make yourself believe all this, ain't no man gonna tell me nothing. And now look at you. You sitting there, home alone, bitter, with no help. You can't carry your food up. Your car keep getting messed up because all the things that a man's supposed to do, you ain't got them in your life to do it. That's what's leading you to do it, and now it's making you even less Important to your own life because you didn't get the strength to do it no more. Okay? All right. I'm going to just show one more time for the man. First Timothy 3, 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how should he take care of the church of God? Ask yourself that, man. We are the church of God. We are Israel. Okay? You can't rule us. How can you take control? How would Israel be okay if our men don't rule right? You got the rule, right? Y'all see what's going on? This world is upside down. Trust us. And every na remember, every nation hate us, and it's coming. It is coming. Okay? So, men stand up. Be the men that are the head of the household. Women, let go of Jesse the spirit. Embrace the men. Teach your men. Build the bear. Build up bear. Because what do you know now? We got to build our men. We take them in. You know, the, the father give them to them. They just beans. You know, but we're supposed to nourish them and take care of them and cook and clean and cater, you know, to support them so they can go out there and be the man they're supposed to be for us, for our very well-being. And then we won't have so much worry and stress and so many health problems because all them things that was on us would be on the man because that's his place anyway, which is a correct order. All right, you guys, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And you guys enjoy your Friday. Happy Sabbath. I love every last one of y'all. Bye now.